I remember that, that the interview was about a year and a half ago, and I was, I then hinted at changes happening uh, with the fair, specifically with open space, and the fair is developing really nicely. I mean, I'm, we're, you know, this new step of uh, cooperating with the new Art Dealers Alliance, um, which is, in a sense, bringing together two fair organizers uh, to work together uh, is opening up a really exciting avenue. I think that, that people are taking the art cologne seriously again. I think that's, that's sort of step one. And I think uh, it is sort of groundbreaking. I mean, this idea of getting two art fairs to cooperate and, uh, you know, each with uh, separate sort of strong points uh, that complement each other. So I mean really bringing together the oldest art fair in the world for contemporary and modern art together with the youngest uh, art fair or gallery organization is really kind of, uh, I, I think it's pretty amazing, pretty groundbreaking, very important. I mean, each year there's, there's an increase in, in uh, sales, uh, there's better visitors coming. Um, I mean, it, it's all, it all goes hand in hand. If, if, if the galleries improve uh, or the quality of the galleries improves and the quality of the visitor improves, the more institutions uh, visit the fair, more curators, uh, more private collections. Uh, this year, two very important uh, young co uh, collectors from the Rhineland are organizing uh, evening events during the fair. Uh, Julia Stoschak has rented out a, a club in Cologne near the West uh, Bahnhof or train station and will organize a video screening there. That's on Wednesday, the uh, 18th of April. And Chantal Blatzheim, uh, together with a, a young Berlin gallery, Lena Brüning, are organizing a group exhibition in the Bastille. I think the, the new cooperation with NADA has, has quite a bit to do with that, especially the, the crossover with uh, suddenly really being identified with young cutting-edge art, which over the, the last three years, I was really working towards re-establishing Cologne's or the Art Cologne's image as an established fair with a classical format of providing a whole overview of the 20th and 21st century uh, of art production and you know now we have this uh, in addition to that we now have this very kind of clearly defined uh, young element so I think it's really yeah, I mean, I think it's going to awake a lot of interest and generate a lot of, uh, should generate a lot of sales, hopefully. <laughs> like last year, there's about, there's a little over 200 exhibitors, of which uh, about 44 are new contemporaries. Those are the young galleries, uh, galleries under 10 years old. And... Then with the, the NADA, which are 33 galleries, so there's a total of about 77 galleries focusing specifically on like young cutting-edge art. Uh, and then from the remaining uh, 140 galleries, there's about, or sorry, 130, 140, somewhere in there, uh, there's about 70 galleries presenting modern uh, and post-war art. And then there's about 50, 50 to 55 galleries presenting established uh, contemporary art, blue chip contemporary art. Um, in terms of special highlights and programming, uh, like last year's uh, exhibition in the South Entrance, or the Entrance Hall of Panamarenko, uh, next year will be, or this year, this coming April, we'll, we're doing a, a Dieter Roth exhibition. 
uh, together with Hauser and Wirth.